IRS audit flag for review. Welcome back everyone so happy to have you back in today's video top reasons you may be audited by the irs courtesy of cnbc.com we are giving you all of the secrets courtesy of this article so make sure you are watching till the very very end let's go ahead and begin some people play the audit lottery the article starts off by saying meaning they will do whatever they want and know that the chances of getting caught are slim said john a piece a cpa however he states that is not a good philosophy to have because as we all know the irs will get you sooner or later so we must be careful the irs closed out 452,515 individual audits during the fiscal year 2020, which is about 0.29% of the 157 million individual income tax returns that were filed that year. There is typically a three-year statute of limitations for IRS audits with extensions in some cases. However, there is no time limit on how long the agency can pursue fraud or non-filers. They can come for you at any time. One of the first cues may be trying to claim too many credits or the or, or deductions compared with your income tax return the irs uses a software with a numeric score for each return with higher scores more likely to spark an audit usually a high score is a good thing 90 100 you got an a you're excited but with the irs and their audit system a high a uh, higher score is not a good thing. Uh, the system estimates the, uh, prop, the appropriate range for each deduction or credit by income level. And if write-offs are outside that range, scores may increase, flagging your return, your tax return for review. For example, uh, income of 90000 with a 60,000 in charitable deductions will alarm the system. Of course, that is a little bit out of the ordinary. So you don't want to put numbers like this to flag or alert the system or trigger the system. All right. You are also likely to get flagged if the uh, submitted tax forms don't match your reported income all right so you want to make sure that all of your forms match your reported income because if they don't it will get flagged by the system all right the top red flags for an irs audit is excessive write-offs compared with your income so you need to keep those numbers making sense uh, unreported income refundable credits such as the earned income tax credit home office and auto deductions you don't want to go overboard with those and rounded numbers we all know rounded numbers even numbers seems like uh you're making those numbers up so you want to stay away from those numbers because when you're adding up expenses and things usually you have uh cents that go with those uh numbers uh for instance uh you may receive a report of your full time wages on your w-2 contract earnings on your 1099 income from your 1099g but if you uh under report your income that will trigger the system because remember your employer has already sent that income information to the irs so they already have that in their system so if you report less than that that will trigger the system say something is not right here we have this and this is what is being reported so you want to make sure those numbers match your w2 1099 nec or your 1099 g or you can get your previous transcript it says here uh, before filing to compare your old numbers 
with your current numbers all right because remember what's in the system previously is what the irs will use to validate your new return uh, self-employed filers need to be careful when claiming write-offs for a home office or a vehicle because those must be exclusive for business purposes which may be more difficult to prove and you need to be precise when reporting credits and deductions rounding numbers are a tip off that you may be just making those numbers up save your receipts he states my best advice is that you're only as good as your receipts you don't have to be scared with the right paperwork to back up your returns so whatever you're putting on a particular tax return you want to make sure you put away all of the doc, uh, documents credits deductions everything put that together with that tax return and have it stored away just in case the irs come looking for you five years down the line you won't have to worry because you got all your documentation you know everything you put on that tax return you got it all in a little stack under your bed so make sure you keep good records all right and make sure to comment in the comment section and let us know if you was ever audited by the irs what was the outcome what kind of documentation you had to provide and so forth and of course always make sure to like comment share subscribe hit that notification bell and come back for all of the tax information that matters to you most i am doing the research so you do not have to and i will see every one of you again very very soon Bye bye